And good afternoon, Priory School. Good afternoon, boys and girls. We're here on Friday, the 29th of January. Well done, everybody. We have made it to the end of another week. And it looks like we've nearly made it to the end of another month, the month of January. Yes, it's not endless, actually. We have made it to the end. So what we're doing now, we're just checking. Oh, we're just checking we've got sounds. Mr. Swain saying it's a bit crackly. You probably heard that. How is it now, Mr. Swain? Better now. Better now? I'm sounding good. Thank you. We're also hearing you, Mr. Swain. Uh, so what we're going to do, we've been thinking about getting out and about in our local communities and how we're trying to stay active in this winter lockdown. Not very easy when it's cold and it's miserable and it's wet outside. But the teachers have all been managing to do that. So we're just going to have a little warm up now before our Learners of the Week live celebration. I hope you're going to join in with us as well. So uh, here we go. We've got the music. Hopefully got the music. All the teachers are getting ready, warming up. Here we go. Come on then, teachers. Just while we're waiting for celebration worship. Eye of the Tiger. Okay. Ground again. Up, down, down low. Oh, here we go. I just have not missed this way now. <laughs> We were we just going to leave Mrs. Sybil there. <laughs> just doing her thing. Ah, oh, right. Woo. That's what we need. A bit of energy, a bit of exercise. Okay, let's turn that off now. Well, there we are. It's got us to just about two o'clock. Here we are in the Priory Hall. Missing you all. It should be with all of you, but I'm glad you're tuning in now. Or if you're watching this a bit later, that you're able to be with us. We've got all the teachers in here this afternoon. And we're getting ready to go through the learners of the week as part of our celebration worship. Uh, and it's great that you are with us. So this week, it's been so lovely to see your photos as you've been out and about. And actually, the Priory Help Desk is now open again. And this week, we want you to think about going on a scavenger hunt and the things that you might find on a walk some of the interesting things that you might have like a treasure hunt if you're on a walk what would be good what should we say that you could find five traffic cones is mine to start off with that's not everyone's that didn't go down very well any other ideas from the crowd here pardon pine cones can you find a pine cone on your walk okay yeah or six different types of birds we've had the spring flowers um Miss Ridley, any ideas from you? Yeah. <laughs> Shells. <laughs> Miss Ridley's enjoying this feature. So get your ideas in to the help desk uh, on that help desk email, helpdesk at priorycepriory.co.uk. Things to put on a scavenger hunt. And Mr. Swain's going to do a list. And when you go out for a walk this weekend, you can see if you can get everything on that list. If you do... Send it in to the um, whole class stream and you're going to get a prize for this. If you get out and about and get everything on our scavenger hunt list, we have got postcards for everyone at home. There's a cheer if you can't hear that. Well done. And our famous Priory School gold pencil. Yeah, light things that don't cost me much in the post. So you will get one of those if you join in with our scavenger hunt. Okay. Okay. 
So have a go. Uh, send them into the help desk. We'll see what we've got. We'll create a list at the end of this celebration worship. Well, I think we should also begin just before we get into learners of the week to go through some of the spring flower pictures. These spring flowers have really cheered me up. I love a good bouquet. So here we go. Probably my favourite one is the snowdrop. And that's so lovely. Thank you so much, Jack and Olivia, for your picture on the whole class stream. Put that one down there. I think on this picture, Elsie May is nearly upside down. Again, more snowdrops. I had to have two snowdrops. Lovely photo. Thank you, Elsie. Now, this was good. This was an interesting one. This could be on the scavenger hunt. This is from Emily, and she said she spotted an elephant's foot. That's pretty clever. If you look at that, it looks just like an elephant's foot. The, te the teachers aren't convinced. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it did, Emily. Okay, right, Anya. Don't know where you saw those beautiful flowers. Well spotted. Oh wow, look at these specimens. Look at those. Beautiful. <laughs> That's not gone down very well either. Come on, I'm trying here, guys. Right, thank you very much for William and Harry. Daffodils, of course, out in bloom. Oh, this is a little sad daffodil, but you've got one. Well done, Daisy, Herbie, Archie. Yeah, you did have one. Okay, but thank you so much for bringing in those, uh, showing us those pictures. Right, I've just thrown my notes on the ground as well. Oh, here we go. What's next in our celebration worship? Well, it is time for Learners of the Week. Again, we're absolutely amazed and delighted with your engagement with your work this week and with the standard of your work. We know it's hard for you at home and the way that you're persevering is fantastic. We've done four weeks of this already. Wow. And you've done so well and you're still producing good work. So great, great job. Let's see who the, the teachers have picked out this week. And we're going to start, and let's see how quickly he gets here. Mr. Swain, class six first, please. Oh, okay, he's going to give him a bit of time. That's, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> okay, let's go for Okay, you've got a bit of time now, class six, Mr. Swain. <laughs> oh, he's here anyway. <laughs> Shall we start with class six, Miss Fields? <laughs> I mean, I I keep calling his. I keep calling class five, class six all the time, so that's that's good. I'm sure it's a sign of something. So, class six, your teacher, Miss Fields, learners of the week. Oh yes, say that as well. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm not too sure if you saw on the whole school celebration page. Um, I like to go out in my spare time and walk the dogs. Here are their leads, very tiny collars because they're very small dogs. Um, as well as that, I do run. A lot of you are aware I run on my lunch. What's your dogs called? Oh, Ralph and Jasper, Mr. Ruffle. Ralph and Jasper. They are very cute. Um, right. So we want to hear what you do in your spare time and how you're keeping fit and healthy. I have got a list of learners of the week. So I have four learners of the week today. So my first one is to Oliver for being dedicated to his learning and always thinking about others during our daily lessons, especially when they're live. Um, and you've worked so hard this week and your manners are just gorgeous. So well done you. Uh, William Foy for a brilliant can-do and resilient attitude in your learning, especially in your maths. I know there's been some really tricky concepts with algebra. Just catching my breath. It feels like I've run a marathon from over there. Um, next one is for Daniel for some really lovely descriptive language um, in Sherlock Holmes. You've written a description about Victorian London and about Sherlock Holmes's office. And last but certainly not least, William Lear for working your best at all time and for top effort. Of course, all of year six and all of your adults have been super this week. So well done. Well done. Well done. Take Jasper and Ralph's leads with you. I'd like to get out and about. We forgot. Yes, we're all sharing how the teachers have been getting out and about. 
This is mine. Yeah, I do love to go for a walk every weekend. So you might see me tramping around. Okay. You might see Miss Field with her dogs. You might see Mr. Swain, obviously class five, not class six teacher. Well, you might see him in Lycra. So Mr. Swain <laughs> in his running outfit. Here he is. I don't think so. Right. Um, so this is, yeah, he, he's given it away, running, yeah. There's my backpack. So if I'm doing long distance, I'll just put, I'll show you a couple of things inside it. So I have these to put my drinks in because if I run 10 miles or more, I need something to put That's drink in. Bottle. That's a drinks bottle, yeah. Oh. And, and it sort of packs down light. So if you, yeah. And then also I've got a buff, which is very important to put on my head because, as you know, I've got loads of hair, but I've got to be very careful of it. And um, and I've got, yeah, I've got a couple of other things that are kicking about in here. I'm trying to find, uh, oh, what have I got in here? I'll be, I've probably got some food in here, actually, because if we go a long way, take food, mate. What have I got? Ah, here's some medals. Oh, so you're not showing I've got, off I've got to medals, show off this again. one. So because of the, yeah, here we go. This is London Marathon. This is, oh, this wow. is the virtual one. And uh, this is the one for the NHS I did recently. So, so I did it. Oh, it's, not, oh, it's all over the place. So there's the NHS one. Nice one there. So, yeah, that's me. Um, not that any of you didn't Mr. know I was running. Did you know quite a few of our children go for a run? I know. In the morning. Yeah, they run away as soon as I give them work. <laughs> yeah, they're very good at it. So, as soon as I say, get your pencils out, they all run away. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> very fit. <laughs> Right, so People of the Week, as usual, is a nightmare for my group. Um, but I did give the challenge of a brochure this week. So particularly, there's loads of you I want to call out. So um, Jamie, Millie, Billy and Olivia did some really good stuff on computers. Um, Hattie did some excellent handwritten ones. And uh, Layla did, for me, probably the best, actually, because she spent ages looking at her spelling. And I was really pleased because she does struggle with spelling, but she did put in loads of effort. But I also mentioned for Hannah's because Hannah's was brilliant, but also she sold it to me on a video. So she did a video selling her hotel. And just one other person I want to mention, and that's Daisy, because she did 747 questions from Monday to Thursday on IXL, which is an awful lot. And it's her birthday on Sunday. So happy birthday, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> that's it. Wow. Well done, everyone. Wow. Mr. Swain, there was a lot of names there. Oh, no. Are you going to put all those names on the whole class stream afterwards? Yeah, why not? Well done. So we can just check. <laughs> do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> Give you a bit of extra work to do. Okay, class four now, going in reverse order this week. So class four, Miss Riddle is here to talk about your learners of the week. Hello everyone. Hello year four. Um, we've had another great week um, on our Google Classroom. So everybody in class four should be super proud and a big thank you to the parents as well for your support. Um, this week I've been getting out and doing lots of exercise but I've also been doing lots of yoga which I do every single evening. But I haven't got my yoga mat with me but namaste to you all and um, I've also been going on lots of walks and my wellies are so worn out that they've perished so they are straight in the wheelie bin and now I need to save up to buy some new ones so I've also been going on lots of walks this week. Um, for our learner of the week, it is going to somebody who has shown huge kindness, resilience, and a really important, um, um, what do you call it? She's got great growth mindset, basically. Mm -hmm. So it's not thick. She's always striving for more. And that person is Bo. So really, really well done to Bo. Did you have anybody in the uh, Clap Cotton three quarters week? I'm just wondering. I, I remember an email. Thank you, Mr. Yes. Ruffle. Um, Mrs. Clapcott has sent me a very, very long email um, saying how proud she is of everyone who's a part of Clapcott four and three courses. It's a group for our key stage two learners who um, 
uh, see Mrs. Clackwell every day and have that extra support with her. But her learners of the week are for two people who have shown great courage and resilience. And that is Jessie Parker from Class 5 and Oscar Calanandres from Class 5. <laughs> kind of well done. Kind of jumped the gun with my clapping there. OK, right, let's move on. Uh, we're down to 15 minutes already. Wow, we're, we're getting, this is a long one. Okay, class three, Miss Weber. Back again. Oh, the door. Careful. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. Um, so my thing that I'm loving at the moment, I used to love running quite a bit, but I've sort of got more into walking and I've got my big Doc Martens oh. on that all the kids know I love. Super comfy. Mine are bigger, I think. It's funny as well. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I love going for a walk. I really like walking at the moment instead of running because I can spend a bit more time outside and I can appreciate where I live and what I what we have around us. And it also gives me a lot of thinking time. It's also a bit of a social time because you can obviously go with one other person or someone from your own household. So it's a time you can socialise, open up if you need to. We all know opening up and sharing how we're feeling is really important. So I'm loving walking. And I'm loving Just Dance. My class also know that. I love having a bit of a boogie at home to all those great songs. So, yes, loving walking and Just Dance at the moment for when it's raining. Um, so that's my sport that I do, my exercise. Um, so my learners of the week for this week, I've got two. And just like Mr. Swain, it's really difficult to decide because everyone in class three is submitting work nearly every day and everyone is working so super duper hard I think it's harder to choose at the moment than in school normally um because you're working so incredibly hard and I'm so proud of all of you um but I had to choose two today I've chosen one from in the pod and that is I've been in twice two days this week and Harriet was working so independently and so hard on her own with her maths. She had her headphones on, was listening to me on her computer, even though I was still in the room um, and was cracking on with her maths independently. <laughs> so that was great. Um, so well done, Harriet, for being super independent. And Maddie, because she is putting in so much hard work and submitting so much work. She's staying on during our meets and contributing when we're marking our core skills and everything. Um, so well done to her as well. Um, so yeah, well done. Congratulations. Well done, Miss Weber. And how you managed to do that without breathing, I don't know. That, that was just incredible. Right, year two learners of the week. Miss Day is here. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ruffle. Well, I'm going to start with the learners of the week. Um, I've chosen two this week, but I just want to say everybody has done such a great job. You have just blown me away with all of the things that you've sent in from all of your artwork, all of your other bits and pieces as well. So the first learner of the week is Callum. Callum, you did some lovely work on your spellings today and you've been just sending in so much writing, so much spag work, lots of different work. So big well done to you. Um, our second learner of the week is Miss Daisy Clapcott, and you as well have been doing really well in your writing, sending me in little bits of extra work that you've been doing, and you've also been doing your daily exercise, which is really important. So, well done, Daisy. Well done, Daisy and Callum. Um, okay, so our daily fitness. So, for my daily fitness, I like to go running as well, and I've wore my shoes. I'm not sure I'll be able to get my leg up. That's <laughs> But um, yeah, so I like to go out for a run every day. They're a bit dirty at the minute, so I'm not going to go around too much in the school because there might be muck left around the place. Sorry, Mr. <laughs> Ruffles. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, I like to go out for a walk and run. It's so important to go out every day, guys, because yeah, fresh air just brightens up your day. All right. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Miss Day. Thank you so much for that. Okay, Miss Etheridge, we're coming to our younger children now. How have you been getting on? Class one. We have been doing some super work and everyone knows how proud I am of everybody. Those in the pods and working so hard at home. So I wish I could choose everybody, but I don't think Mr. Ruffle would like that very much. Mm, shaking his head. So I've had to had make the difficult decision to just choose one of you, and that is Elsie, because you have been doing some brilliant measuring, and you've been measuring using your hands and your feet, using th things in your house, and also you've also been measuring using a tape measure, as well as your ruler at home. 
for big things in your house. So well done. And I loved your island with all your physical and human features. I love the ice cream shop. Well done. Amazing. Well done to everybody. So I hope everyone's proud of themselves. And as you can see, sorry. I'm I'm to oh, Elsie. yes, give everybody. Yeah, yeah, well yeah. done, Elsie. Brilliant yeah, yeah. work. And as you can see, I've got my coat on, not because it's really cold in the school at the moment, but because I love to go out in the in outside, whatever the weather, even when it's a bit cold, when it's a bit rainy, because walking is so good for you and it's nice to get away from the screen. So enjoy your weekend. Bye bye. Thank you, Miss Etheridge. Yeah, someone else that likes walking. OK, Miss Sybil now, class R reception. How are you doing? Here we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> I bet you can't guess what I absolutely love to do. Not Caving. So much. <laughs> <laughs> Flying. <laughs> Looking silly. <laughs> Pressing up. <laughs> but not so much at the moment, I must admit, because it's a little bit cold for me. But I do usually absolutely love to go swimming in the sea, especially in the sea. That's one of my favourite things to do. And you'll often spot me jumping about in the waves in the summer. Do you go so wild swimming? Um, not that wild. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but I, I have one thing I'm very proud of. I did swim all the way around Brancy Island once. And that's wow. over six miles. So uh, yeah, that was an achievement. Well, so... I'm going to take this off. I've probably got goggle eyes now. <laughs> Great big rims around me. So my learners of the week, it is, as everybody said, it's so, so difficult to choose because everybody has been amazing, Mr. Ruffle. You'll be so proud of all the children in class are and in the whole school, I'm sure. But I chose just three today. Whoops. Practice my numbers. <laughs> and um, two of them are for the same thing, really. It's for always turning in fantastic work. Try, I know they're trying so hard. And most importantly, they've always got great big smiles on their faces on, in their pictures. So I know that they're enjoying their learning, or I hope they are. And that is Evie and Mika. So well done, girls. And the other learner of the week I've chosen is Theo. Now, one of our challenges was a math challenge, and we had to go and um, make an obstacle course with eight things. And Theo, had a genius idea of taking this outside and he went with his pony Felix and made an obstacle course with his pony and there's oh. some fantastic photos of that so well done and thank you to everybody have a good weekend thank you Mrs Sybold well I am so proud of you Priory School that is so Lovely to hear how well you're doing at home. Now, let's have a look at the help desk and see what ideas we have got for our scavenger hunt, for our walking scavenger hunt. Here we come. Let's see. Are they coming through? Um, yes, they are coming through. Right. I need a volunteer to help write these down while I say them out. Anybody coming? Yes, Miss Webber's coming. She loves a walk, as we heard. I do love a walk. You, can you use my clipboard? Clipboard. It, clipboard. it has been... Um, disinfected okay right here we go let's see what we could Am add one of the golden pencils one of you you're yourself. allowed a golden pencil okay. just for now so we want everybody on their weekend walk or a bit of it out when you go outside for your activity exercise sorry to collect a pebble or a rock like this you're going to need this for our special well-being wednesday next week yeah, actually you're going to need it by monday okay so a little pebble Something like this. You all need to collect one. So can you put that down? A nice and smooth pebble. Smooth pebble. Yes. For painting or writing on. Got it. Quick. Okay. Right. Let's see. Oh, no. That's a message from Mrs. Brown. Uh, wrong email. Right. <laughs> I don't want to read that one out. Right. Here we go. We have got from Elsie, one of our year one learners, actually, a shell, a piece of litter. We've got, to be, we've got to be careful with that. Don't pick it up. A, a no, a fur cone, a red pen, a red pen, a yellow Lego brick, a match. Again, you've got to be really careful with matches. A loose button. Ah, right. They, they could be some things found in the house as well, couldn't they, rather than just on a walk. 
Okay, right, let's see. Um, no, not not anything there. Right, let's see what else have we got. Oh, Miss Fields. Oh, we've got a picture. Look at that. Oh, you can't quite see it. Um, a feather, an ant, a butterfly. Oh, lots of ideas. Right, we, we'll get Mr. Swain to Let's use some of those. Out. That's a nice picture. Yep. Let's see what else have we got here. Sia. Well done, Sia, for getting involved. Thank you. Uh, bits of pottery down on the beach. Yes, any Roman, especially if it's Roman. 2,000-year-old oh, pottery. A rock that's got a hole in it. A rock with a hole in it. Oh, any more that. coming through? Yes. Oh, Cuttlefish. Yes, fossils. Fossil. Yeah, three D fossils. Yeah, yeah, let's let's see if Mr. Swain's awake. Mr. Swain, any ideas for the treasure hunt? You're live. Over. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm trying to think. We did have traffic cones. Tra I said traffic cones. You're not listening. I said that earlier, Mr. Oh. <laughs> photograph of a road sign okay that's going to be great on a walk okay we've got fossils here from william and harry foy thank you for getting involved great okay we've got have we got a list there we've got a list so we're going to post that up by the end of today your treasure hunt when you go for a walk but do remember Make sure you get a nice, smooth pebble. Well, thank you so much, Priory School, for joining us uh, this afternoon. Sorry we've gone on a bit. Keep up the hard work. Do remember, every weekend, try and get a break from your screens. Ready for the week ahead. Uh, we do hope to see you soon. Fingers crossed for the 8th of March. Right. Okay. Bye for now. Bye-bye.